Hey you YouTubers, this is Ken with MacGyver underscore me. Today, very exciting day for me, um, I ordered a tool which we're going to be unboxing today. This happens to be a uh, XTD1 laser engraver. The X-Tool D1. So I've seen these online. I used to have a CO2 laser and um, I sold it. I used to do a lot of leather patches and whatnot, uh, plaques and different things like that. Um, the only thing I didn't like about that one is that my bed area was was pretty small and unless I could fit it with inside of the box, I couldn't do it. This here, as you can see on this on the outside of the box, it has legs. So with that being said, you can raise this, put it on top of, let's just say a door or something, a cabinet door or something like that, and then uh, zero in your, your diode laser and you'd be able to do it so you could fit bigger platforms underneath this machine and uh, engrave. So let's start unboxing. I hope it's okay because there's a big indentation in the box right here. And um, there was another one. Where was it? Oh, right here. So let's see, hopefully there's no damages. I pray there's not. As far as some of the other videos I saw, they package these things up really well. All right, so we'll start taking this stuff apart. So yes, they packaged it very well. So here we have um, an envelope. Looks like the instruction manual. They really did a great job packaging this thing, I tell you. I've seen this online and uh, some decals. Um, and it looked like it online when I saw other YouTubers um, posting their stuff. But in here, we have the feet um, that go up underneath the frame so you can raise it to different heights. And uh, it looks like you can go too high. So that would be too high versus one high. Plus I'm sure if you had the right um, spacing uh, of you know wood blocks or something like that you could even get it higher if you had to so so yeah pretty cool so I don't look like anything else is on this piece so I'll put that aside I did get the 10 watt laser um, bigger is better I guess uh, this is the uh, for doing a uh, cups and stuff like that it's a rotary tool so so yeah this is gonna be exciting my co2 did not have this so you can do bats and any anything that's that's radius uh, cups and whatnot you can uh, use this for so that's awesome take a good look okay comes with the wire to hook it up to the, the unit and that looks like it for that So this is the hardware, it looks like it has zip ties, um, I'm not sure, i just seen one guy put one of these together very quickly, I didn't pay that much attention, so we're going to do it together, I have a coupling here where the, uh, the shaft goes into, it ties in, I'm sure on one of the rails, so, so yeah. Okay, here's one of the rails. Here's a 
another one. Oh, here's that, that rod. So I'm saying, they did a great job packaging this stuff so it didn't get bent. Now the cool thing about this also is, as an antenna here, that um, you're able to do wireless from your phone. So if you have a picture or something on your phone, you can uh, you can send it directly to the machine via um, Bluetooth. Very cool. So and then it has the wire in here to connect everything. Now you're with me for the ride because I've not installed one of one of these before, so. Um, you know guys, guys don't normally like to uh, read instructions. So, one, two, three, four. And here's another component. I'm not sure if that's the... Uh, the um, X or the Y. Power cord, more part of the power cord. And here's the diode laser. It wrapped up really nicely in this package. USB cord, so you can plug it directly into your computer. I would assume that this is some type of lubricant. It doesn't say it, but it looks like it. And they give us some protective eyewear so that we don't damage our retinas. How cool is this? Oh -ha. Pretty cool. Yeah, everything looks kind of green. Hmm, wonder why. <laughs> All right, the last component to come out, it looks like. This would be the gantry. Yep, because this is where the laser would go for the Z. The Z is manual, so you can adjust the, uh, the diode laser straight to your material, and I will show you that when I unpackage. Well, we can do that now. That looks like it. stuff seems very well made so this is the way the laser would be facing you right <laughs> and so it has this lever here which is magnetic you hear a click so you click up drop down so whatever the product is that you're dropping down to that you want to engrave when that touches that's your zero once you zero then you put that lever back up and you're good to go very cool, well made. I'm very impressed so far. Alrighty, so I guess we're gonna attempt to put this together. Some zip ties. Like I said, the coupling. Look like a sample piece. Plastic cardstock. And I guess this is just a thin piece, very, very thin piece of leather. 
that you can practice on. A bunch of screws. Longer screws. Ooh, look, they even gave me a dog tag that I can engrave. And a piece of acrylic. Oh, I'm sorry, this is an SD card. My bad. Wow, glad I saw that. And some Allen wrenches. Spectacles on. It appears that this one goes in here. Oops, sorry. Like this. Tightening this shaft up the best that I can. Let me put some screws in, lock them in place. screws put in but we're just checking the alignment hmm. this belt's pretty tight but this one's pretty loose I wonder why oh there's an adjustment here on the side That's my bed. Let 
making sure the, gant the gantry would be all the way at the, the front when I tighten this. Otherwise, it would be pushing and pulling. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. This is what I just uh, put on the coupling. Probably go a little tighter on this. See, there's a set screw here to tighten the belt that's on the inside here. So, bunch of screws I got to put in on the face here and some in the back same thing on the back all right I got all those screws in now to put the gantry on doing some work for a ministry and um, I'm going to be doing a, a few different things um, don't want to let the cat out of the bag really but um, so I uh, maybe I should just tell you so this machine I'm going to be doing for the most part engraving some leather patches and uh, they are going to go on caps and then I'm going to try and create a, a couple other um, items for the ministry as well and uh, those I'm going to have to do videos as they come up I don't want to say what they are at this time because they are going to be kind of a surprise um, for the ministry and uh, just for the in for the ministry and the industry so if I can put it that way so this will be doing some engraving of the leather. Like I said, I used to use a CO2 for doing leather patches as well. And um, it did pretty good. But like I said, my table was limited as far as what I could do. So let me show you real quick. So this is a hat that I did back with the, the CO2 laser. Um, I engraved that so the patches on so uh, my other video that I I unboxed a, uh, a sewing machine um, that's what the machine I'm going to be doing uh, the sewing of the patches on the hats so that's the other component and then there's another component that I, I'm gonna unbox as well and show you guys that on another video so stay tuned for that one. But yeah, I'm excited to see how this baby works. Like I said, I'm really impressed on how this thing was built. Okay, so there's a set screw right here that goes in on the side so that when you put the, uh, the diode laser on you can set the height of where it needs to be so it doesn't move you never want to over wrench these things just snug so there's that so now we're gonna do um, some of the wiring components. Put 
clips around in here in the back. Okay, so it's going to be a little tough for you guys to see and for me to show you at the same time. So you got this yellow wire, or the plug I should say, it goes into the motherboard over here. Okay. And this will travel all the way down to here. There are grooves on this, so you got to put it in the proper way. Okay, and then we zip tie it to the to the frame here. Make sure you don't clip the wire when you do this. All right. I apologize, I thought I was missing a wire. You have a five pin and a four pin, so make sure you put it in the right one. I'm gonna turn this upside down so I can see. Apologize to you guys if you, you can't really see it that well. Let me take the laser off. Like I said, this is just the unboxing. It's really nothing that big. So, this is the five pin on the other motor. That does not go here. So we're going to take this back out. I believe this is for the rotary. Where's my rotary? Yep, that's for the rotary. Five pin. So this. This bad boy plugs in here. I didn't. See what happens when you don't look at instructions. All right, so that's all the way there. All right, so I'll put a zip tie in there.
left some slack here so that when I put the head down, I have enough slack so that don't mess me up. All right. Put that in. this one in. Probably gonna be a little tough for you guys to see. Yeah, it might be. The plugs are really deep inside here, so. Um, there's two. So this will stay off to the side. So this come this way, this can come all the way over that way. So, yep, all the way back. Okay, well, this is simple enough. You just plug it in, you set it in there. And, um, and so, so yeah. I have to read up on it. This has a uh, 60 to 7 millimeters, 45 to 60, uh, 3 to 50. Um, so I'm assuming. Not sure what I was thinking. I'm thinking these go back so that you can, yeah, you can put a, a smaller, see these holes here? So you unscrew it from the from the back, this one, and you can bring it all the way in to here, and then move it all the way to the end here, or leave it at the 40, uh, 45 to 60 millimeter. So I guess depending on what type of glass or bat or whatever you're doing, it will determine that. So and then just remove, put plug in here. So yeah. Um, that looks like it concludes my install um, outside of plugging it in and stuff like that. I don't have the app put on my phone yet or on the computer. So I got to download all that stuff. So stay tuned for when I get ready to do my first job. All right.